Yes, yes, this is the fourth MacBook Pro. Could I be fourth time lucky? Woo! Right, I tell you, I did chance, and yes, that is indeed the fourth MacBook Pro <laughs> replacement here. So, um, yeah, hopefully the Greek is happy with this one. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go, woo! Anyway, a comment I get all the time is I want to buy an XPS 15 but I'm a bit worried about their quality control I've heard so many stories etc and I'm, I hear this stuff about Razer 2 and whatever so who actually does have the best quality control and if we're talking about the top tier manufacturers so we're talking about you know Dell Apple HP, Lenovo, you know, companies like that, even Zeus, you can chuck that in there. I would be very surprised if there's any difference at all. They ship a huge amount of computers, some more than others, but mass-produced products here. And I doubt if you actually broke it down, manufacturers aren't going to give you these figures, but I very much doubt there'll be any difference. And if there was any difference, it would be very small. I think they're all exactly the same when it comes to quality control, if you're just talking about these top-tier manufacturers. If you're talking about the ones that more boutique like Razer and stuff like that I would think their quality control would probably be very close to what the top tier manufacturers are but the important thing is how is their support so if you get it done this is why you buy Apple this is why you buy Dell this is why you buy Lenovo because when you get it done they will support you. And I'm going to tell you the issues we've had with these MacBook Pros and just bring up some issues people have had with MacBook Pros. Not because I'm Apple bashing. This is not the point of this. This is to point out the myths involved with who has better quality control. Because there's a myth out there that Apple have better quality control. That it really doesn't have better quality control. I'm not saying it's worse than anyone else's. It certainly isn't, but it's no better than anyone else's either. So to illustrate this, I'll just compare the XPS 15 to the MacBook Pro because it's just easier for me to explain. I'm, I'm very familiar with both of them. And if you were just to ask people, which laptop has the better quality control or which company has the better quality control out of Dell and Apple, I guarantee most people will just say Apple. Yeah, Apple's got great quality control. It's really good. So let's compare these two laptops, all right? So I get told every single issue with XPS. You know, I've done so many XPS videos. So <laughs> believe me, I've heard every single thing that's supposedly wrong with them. Now, the problem with Dell laptops or PCs in general is as soon as a chip comes out, they rush out to get their laptops out as soon as that chip comes out. And I would say for the first three, sometimes maybe six months, there is a problem with all of them, all the manufacturers, because they've just released a new laptop with a new chipset probably, a new CPU, and most of the issues you hear about these Dell XPS 15s is just that, just driver issues and BIOS updates needed to make these things more stable. Now, Apple generally release their products later in the cycle, so once a CPU has been out for a while, so they're going to have less of these type of issues. But let's just go through all the issues of the XPS 15 that I've heard. And by the way, I've had over 20 XPSs, either review units, my units, ones my friends have bought. I've had loads, and I've never had an issue with an XPS 15 apart from one, a full HD version that had like a little gap in the bezel. Rang up Dell, boom, come over, 24 hours later, replaced the lid, Done. Simple as that. So what I'm telling you, even if you have quality control issues, don't be scared to buy Dell or Apple or any of these top tier. Razer, I don't know. I just don't know. I have no idea about their support. So I'm ignorant. I can't tell you. But I know when I spend thousands of dollars and these laptops cost thousands of dollars now, I'm buying from a top tier manufacturer. I'm buying from a Dell, Lenovo, Apple, etc. Just because I know if I get it done, they will fix it. They have great support. Lenovo, Dell have great support, on-site support here in Australia. That's how it works. Apple, you just take it to an Apple store, boom, they'll fix it. Now, there are horror stories from Apple support, Dell support. Yeah, okay, they're in the minority. Trust me, they are. But when we go through the issues of the XPS 15 that I've heard, there's one showstopper, and that was the 9550, and that had a swelling battery. That's a bad problem. You can get your battery replaced in those units. That is a bad issue. It doesn't affect the new XPS 15s. But every single other issue I've heard with the XPS 15 has been really minor. So I say to you, 
Don't worry about Dell's quality control. First of all, you have the trial period, the 14-day trial period. Buy it from Amazon, you can return as well. Use it. If you don't like it, return it. You've got nothing to lose. Also, if you do have an issue, they've got the best support up there with Apple and Lenovo and stuff like that. So the issues with the XPS 15 I've heard is coil wine. Coil wine is more of an annoyance than a really showstopper. Granted, if it's bad coil wine, it'll drive you nuts and yeah, you, you want to return that, get that fixed. But I've actually never had a XPS with coil wine. And if you read the internet, you'll think every single XPS comes with coil wine. I can tell you that's not true. But if it's bad, yeah, return it. But if it's just a mild bit of coil wine that you can only hear in a quiet room, I wouldn't worry about it. And the only laptop I've had with coil wine has been the Surface Book 2. I don't think it's as big an issue as many people are making out with these XPS laptops. Also, all the other things like the feet are not seated properly. You can work them back in. That's just a minor issue. Yeah, all right. The rubber feet on the bottom, some of them don't come seated properly. Well, that has been the case in the past. It's really easy just to push them back in and seat them. Minor issue flickering of the screen, sound crackling, popping, like the headphone jack not working. All of these things have been driver issues. So if you replace the driver or if you update to the latest BIOS, pretty much all those issues will get remedied. So make sure you upgrade your drivers and your BIOS. And of course, there are laptops that fail, like the motherboard stuff. And yeah, all right, that's different. Getting a unit that's completely a dud is different to a quality control issue that is common. I want you to compare the issues on the MacBook Pro 15 inch and the 13 inch. And I want you to leave down there in the comments which ones you think are more serious. Now, I actually tweeted Andrew Azari from the What The Tech podcast and I asked him, how many times did you return your MacBook Pro? He's had the logic board replaced. He's had the screen replaced. He actually got a brand new unit and the brand new unit actually had to go in and get a logic board replaced and a screen replaced as well. That's MacBook Pro. Those things are serious issues, right? Having your logic board or motherboard replaced five times, six times, that's like crazy. That's a showstopper there, right there. I mean, it's no flickering screen sort of thing. Also, the keyboard failure on the MacBook Pros. If your keyboard fails, that's a massive showstopper. Your laptop's virtually useless at that point. So they've had all these problems with the motherboards. And even Dave from Geekanoids, he sold his because he had so many issues with his 15-inch MacBook Pro and he said he's probably not going to buy a new one. But to counter that, my man Andrew from AMD Tech, he has a 2016 MacBook Pro 15-inch. And he slams it. Pretty much every video he has made is with that 15-inch MacBook Pro. And the 2016 MacBook Pro is supposed to be the dud one. And he's never had an issue. So the moral of this story is, I don't know how these myths come around that Dell has inferior build quality and Apple has superior. So I'm pretty much thinking all the bad reviews of these Dell XPS 15s are done within the first few months where they have the flickering screen, the sound issue, this, that, when the drivers are half-baked. Makes people think they're worse than they are. But the problem with the Mac is even though they have much more serious problems, people still believe that they have superior quality control. I doubt there's any difference between all of them. This MacBook Pro I have now is the fourth MacBook Pro. The first one had those quality control issues that you saw in the review. The panel wasn't lining up, etc. The second one had a dead zone on the trackpad and the chassis would click. I think it was sort of loose around the battery area, like it wasn't laminated properly in there. It just made a click all the time. Third one had the speaker issues, which you can listen to now. I tell you what, when those speakers popped, I jumped out of the chair. Like that scared the living hell out of me. And I actually thought a transistor had blown because I've had a power surge before and I've had a transistor blow up in my Xbox once and that was like an explosion. That's what that sounded like when the speakers popped on that. Unfortunately, I didn't record that, but you can hear the speakers. Have a listen. Yeah, that's not good. Um, and I could hear crackling through the headset. So this is the fourth MacBook Pro now and hopefully fourth time lucky. But anyway, don't be scared to buy from these top tier manufacturers, especially these people saying I'm a bit scared about Dell's quality control. You have 14 days to return it. Use it. You also have the best support. That goes with Apple, Dell, Lenovo, those sort of companies. Don't be scared to buy them. Even with all the keyboard failures on the Mac and that, don't worry about it. You will be covered by support. I know there's horror stories from every manufacturer, but that's why you buy from the top tier manufacturers. That's what you pay the extra money for. And yeah, I wouldn't buy 
personally myself a razor because I have no idea about the support. I am not for one minute saying their quality control is worse. I'm not saying their support is bad. I just don't know about it. And it just can't be as good as these top tier manufacturers because they're just frankly a boutique sort of manufacturer. They're not as big as these companies, so they can't offer the same support network. You know, no one's going to come over my house and replace my screen on the razor. I'm going to have to send it off to God knows where. I don't know. I'll just rather stick with these big tier manufacturers and don't be scared. So anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, tally ho.